Hey, it's Roberto Mickey again, and we've got a great video today. And this video is kind of unique because it's a domino injury. So our patient is an elderly woman who loves to play dominoes. And one day she was playing dominoes and pinched, quote unquote, her finger, her right small finger, between two dominoes. She states that after that injury, she had significant pain in the pinky and she kept getting recurrent infections over the last four months where she'll have spontaneous drainage of purulence or pus from the finger. So initially, this story didn't quite make sense to me. The mechanism of injury of quote-unquote pinching your finger between two dominoes doesn't quite make sense for a recurring infection of the finger. But when you're playing dominoes, if you know, you're mixing these dominoes on a table. And, well, it just happens to be that a few years ago, I had a patient who had a very similar injury, but remembered getting stuck by a splinter from the wood table that many of these people use to play dominoes on. And my suspicion was that this patient was getting recurring infections because she had a splinter in her finger. So here's the ultrasound, and you can see that white dot in the top of the image right there with a circle around it, and that is a foreign body. And this is from a different view, from a, like what we call a sagittal view, and you can see that little white line there, and that is a foreign body on the ultrasound. Plug for the channel, hit like and subscribe and help out our channel so we can continue making these videos. A quick viewer discretion, this video does show images from a surgery, so if you don't wanna see the inside of somebody, please click away. So at this point in the surgery, we've already anesthetized the patient with 1% lidocaine and half percent rapivacaine. And we are here making an incision with a 15 blade and there were two areas of purulence, one more distally along the distal phalanx and one more proximal on the distal phalanx. And basically we made an incision connecting the two areas of purulence. And basically when we made the incision, we dissected down with these synonymous scissors and almost immediately once we get one through the subcutaneous tissue, we found this foreign body and it looks like a little hair. It's a little splinter from a piece of wood. And then immediately upon looking again, we found another slightly smaller piece of foreign material. Once again, it looked like a splinter and there it is. And it looks like a piece of wood, likely from the wooden table that she was playing dominoes on. So I hope you enjoyed the video and hope to see you at the next one. And be careful out there, especially if you're playing any dominoes.